An evacuation and an explosion, definitely not your typical beach day. The bomb squad had to blow up a World War II era bomb that washed ashore. Where it came from is still a mystery, but history may offer some clues. Eight on your side is covering Pinellas County and Josh Thomas joins us tonight at St. Pete Beach. Josh. Good evening, Stacy. Well, things here on St. Pete Beach, as you can see behind me here, are back to normal. A day after experts were called here to blow up a military bomb that ended up in the sand. While it's gone, the question remains, where did it come from? Visitors to St. Pete Beach had more than their share of excitement when a disposal ordnance team from McDill Air Force Base detonated a World War II era flash bomb that washed ashore. The device, similar to this one, was discovered yesterday, but investigators are still trying to figure out where it came from. I'm sure that it, it came from one of our planes that uh, were flying over Tampa. Um, how long it had been there, uh, sediment transport, it's probably been there a long time. Jim Wilson is the supervisor at Fort DeSoto Park, an area not far from yesterday's discovery that was used for bomb training runs during the war. Visitors to the area are not surprised by the discovery. There's got to be tons and tons of ordnance scattered everywhere. It's going to be found. There's nothing you can do about it. You know, we're going to try to be as safe as we can. It's not the first time an explosive device has turned up on the Pinellas shores. A long time ago, we found one here of a more modern uh, uh, munition that to light up, and that was had phosphorus in it, liquid phosphorus. So that was something new, but that had been shot off offshore and then washed up on our beach. I'd much rather see ordnance from you know, the 40s show up here than ordnance from the 2000s. The immediate area was evacuated, but no one was hurt. And should the public obviously be concerned? At, uh, well, any time. I mean, the, the St. Pete Beach incident is a great example. Anything time you find something that's a little out of the ordinary, yes, report it to the, the local sheriff or police department so that it can be, you know, looked at. And while it's not known where that bomb originally came from, Supervisor Wilson is quite certain that somebody at McDill Air Force Base has been working to find out its origins. Stacy. All right, Josh Thomas, live in Pinellas County tonight. Thank you.